are still standing strong. I know. I think I just gotta go straight point confusion here. What? What? I don't. You crazy? Oh. oh. Christian, is it okay if I take your turn and I play this one? It is all right. Okay, because I, I I really like this one. They look like bird cages to me, or maybe like bird cages. Yeah, like bird cra bird cages. Bird cages. Bird cages. <laughs> all right, let's do this. See what we can do today. Yeah, let's do this. We have twenty five dollars in Lucky Lucille. Seal bag, you, you're the third. <laughs> Junior the third? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I didn't even realize you did Junior the third. See, I did it nice and smooth, so you just don't expect it. Oh, nice and smooth, nice and smooth. I'm going right. I'm attacking these, these bird cages. These the bird cages. I'm going right with all my might. Right? Patience. What? What? It works sometimes, but it's not no way it's a foolproof method. I'm I'm starting a new I'm starting a new thing. You go right first. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what she You said so disgusting with that. Well, you know, I've I spent many years perfecting the the book and Many just, years, Christian? Yeah, well, yeah I I I watched many videos <laughs> at my time. Strategy before I came into the field and actually did some research myself. Oh, it's moving! It's moving! Christian, you're crazy. <laughs> I did a review. What is that called? Uh, it's like, no. like a research review or something like that. Or is it topic review? I don't know. Uh, it's something where you're research. You're supposed to research the topic only to the extent of what has been researched and up to that point. I have no clue. Learned that in class. <laughs> Research methods. Research methods, nice. Sounds like a class you'd learn that in, right? Yeah. I hated that class. I had to take that. It was, was alright. No. Oh. You actually sound yummy. What? We gotta go food? Is it lunchtime? It is lunchtime. Oh my goodness, we just made a basket in the birdcage! We made a basket? Yeah, where the hundreds fell in it. Oh, okay, okay. It was a basket. It's actually a basketball with no... The bottom. Water. No, it's, that's the net. The my bad. But it doesn't have the, the backboard. Oh, so it's like the playing around one net, like where you shoot it, it has like a one in four chance of coming out a hole. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. It's on a backboard. I've never played with one of those, but I feel like it would be fun. Is there a game that's associated with those? With a basketball with no net? No, do you, like, you know the playground game where you shoot basketball up into like a, well, in essence, in essence a, a, a hoop with no net or no backboard, and, well, it doesn't have a net either, but it has like four different holes that the ball can like come out of, oh, and like they each point a different direction. Okay. Is there an actual game associated with that? I think so. I've I never played with one of those before. I would just shoot a basket and like get the ball after it kind of came out. But like, what's the actual game? I don't know. I don't know what the actual game is at all, but they were always at like, um, elementary school. Yeah, they're always elementary school. Yeah. I have no clue. It kind of, I don't know if this is like true or not, but it kind of reminds me of that one game where it's like volleyball and you have to hit it over like the nine squares. Oh, no. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? We're, we're, we're so good. sorry. We don't know what these are called. <laughs> like nine square? Yeah, nine square, something like that. It's like four square, but four like ball edition? Yeah, it's nine squares instead of four. And your goal is to be the person in the middle. Yeah. I like that game. Yeah, I only played that one once. Yeah, we played it at church. Yep. That was wild. Oh, it was I got like an event. I had an advantage though because I was taller than everybody else. Yeah, being short was not the best for that. Yeah, <laughs> it was ball. not. One ball is a pretty good sport for me, you know? Yeah. You got the hop, the jump, you do the spiking. And I'm tall. And you're tall. I'm 
telling you, when we go to the beach, we just vlog a lot of You guys are all going down if you're on the other team. Yes, we go to the beach like three times a year, and every time my parents bring a volleyball net, and we play hardcore volleyball games in tournaments. They're like full games, like eight to six. Yeah, six, six to six. They get heated. Usually me and Christian have to be on, wait, is it the, are we on the opposite teams or the same team? It doesn't usually matter. It's usually me and your brother that gets split up. True. We're never True. on the same team. That was but that was my last quarter. All right. All right. Let's pull. 22-25 in Lucky Lucille. She says, "Oh, tot, ah, ah, os, work, as o." Patience is. <laughs> the only word that survived. <laughs> the only one. As o work. Show. Oh, okay. what? You said you only know the little show? Oh, yeah. Hey! <laughs> there it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually so excited for the volleyball tournament, though. My mom's friend is coming to the beach with us, so there's going to be more people on the teams. No, you're going to have to get set out. I know. Oh, there's just fights with three teams, three rotations. Yeah. Oh, it's so much fun. I really like playing volleyball. They knew it, and there was a, I wish there was a boys volleyball team in my high school, whenever I went, went to high school. I it think, great. I think Jerry played volleyball. I think he did. I think he played volleyball in high school. I, I think you're right. Or maybe it was like at his church camp or something. He definitely did. He played volleyball. He played volleyball. That was one of the only things that I, I noticed in his house. I think that was the only sport he played. He had the volleyball in his house. Yeah. We were like, oh, you play volleyball? Do <laughs> you have one of those? Why? I've never seen you play a sport ever. I know. I know. He has to be good, though. Because he's tall and he's got big hands. Like, <laughs> you can use your hands play volleyball? You know, like when do you use your hands in volleyball? You're always using your hands in volleyball. No, you use like your forearms. Your nose. No, like you're just using the paddle. The paddle? Yeah, your hands. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, I'm just telling you, it's, I don't think how big your hands matter. I, I, maybe you have a point, but I feel like bigger hands are probably better. I don't know, maybe for like football or like basketball. Basketball, definitely. You have to be able to dunk. I can't dunk. I you wish don't I have could. to be able to dunk play basketball. True. But I like this otherwise, otherwise no kid would ever play basketball. Because no kid can dunk, except for like some people can. Some, there was some this kids girl. like when they're in grade can dunk. Yeah, there was this girl in my class. She could dunk in seventh grade. That's it was, crazy. It was amazing. Honestly, once you see somebody dunk and they're like 12, but there's, it's just so neat. <laughs> like, that takes so much skill. How, are, how can they jump that high? I have no idea. I All I know is when I was in seventh grade, I could not reach the top shelf of my locker. I had to ask my locker neighbor every day to get me my stuff. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> because that's... I could not reach it. I was Why'd that you put tall. it up there? I didn't have any room on the bottom, and my mom wouldn't buy me any locker shelves. She wasn't having that. <laughs> See, I just piled everything in the bottom of my locker. My locker was a mess all the time. See, my locker was always organized and clean. My locker had like, my locker had like four or five jackets in it at any given time. What? Yeah, I always left my jacket at school. Were your lockers big? Ours were really small. When we got to high school, they were big. I used to like put my. Oh, whole I'm locker. talking about high school. Oh, you're talking about high school. I don't remember the middle school one. It probably was the same way. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that just happened in high school. You're right. I don't even know if I had a locker in middle school. You had? I feel like it's mandatory. I guess it's on. Maybe not. My middle school didn't remodel whatever I was going to. That's crazy. So, like, we didn't have, like, you know how, like, we were walking through the hallway and it has, like, the, the rectangle foam. Yeah. We didn't have those or like the, the manolium floor, like tile things. It was just a concrete floor. Oh the lights were hanging from the ceiling, not like metal tiles. Left. That's 
That's actually insane. It that was, was wild. so creepy there. It was, and then there was like jackhammers going outside. Oh, that, that's crazy. All right, that was my last quarter, so let's go. We have 28.75 in Lucky Lucille. Oh, yes. We're getting better pulls than I thought we were. I didn't think the, the bird cages were moving at all. I don't think the bird cages that are moving. I think it's the just the quarters around them that are moving. Yeah, I think so too. I'm going left. These bird cages are actually surprisingly stronger than I was expecting. I I like the bird cages. They're really cool. I don't think it's we have we seen another bird cage like this before. It's not like one like this. No, I like it. You know. I've always really liked bird cages, but I've always been afraid to, to have a bird. Yeah, you definitely seem like somebody that I would think would be afraid of birds. I don't, you don't like things that fly. No, it, no, I don't. I really don't. They're crazy. But you really like ducks. I like ducks. Ducks are cute. But ducks fly. But not when you get up close to them. They just waddle real, real fast. They're so cute. Now, if you ran up to it, it would probably fly away. Maybe. I... I want to talk about the ducks at the barn. There's this restaurant that just has a bunch of ducks in a pond and you can feed them. And we always go up and feed them and they come up to you. It's really cool. I like the ducks there. They are cool. One time when I was there, they had just had little babies. And they were walking around. They were so small and so fluffy, I picked one up. <laughs> the mom was not very happy. She chased me. She put her neck down and was like looking like she was going to pick me up. Yeah, I thought, I don't know. I thought it, she wasn't going to care, but she really did care. There is the one duck that's there that's super ugly. His name is Fancy. Yeah, he's, he's an ugly duck. <laughs> he, he is an ugly duck. He's kind of like this vlog. He has like a beak that has like red squishy stuff on it. And it just makes him look like he's got something wrong with him. Like, he's got like rabies or something. But, yeah. And he pants. He's all like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Yeah. And it's weird. He's a creepy duck. But he, he's really nice. He lets you pet him. And he likes to eat bread. <laughs> he likes the bread. He does. I also like to feed the fish. Yes, the fish. They have koi fish there. It's a huge koi fish. Giant catfish. They're like three or four feet big. It's crazy. They only like a whole piece of bread. They're like all. Oh. Yeah. The one gulp of a whole piece of bread. Can, do you think you could eat a, a piece of bread in one bite? Um. Like without not, smushing it up into yeah, the ball. Not the ball. No. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I'd have to smush it up. <laughs> But even then, though, I don't like once it was in my mouth, I don't know if I can chew it. I probably could, it would be really hard and uncomfortable. If you roll it into a ball? Well, like, if I just, like smushed it up. Oh my goodness, that like, sounds so nasty. Like, I don't know, like crumbling up like a piece of paper, kind of? Yeah, And just eat yeah. like a ball? Why are you doing that with bread? I'm not, I'm just saying that's the only way I think I can eat a whole piece of bread. What is, this is gonna be a weird question. What is the biggest piece of food you think that you can actually like eat in one bite? Rice Krispie Tree. That's the biggest thing? Like a full Rice Krispie Tree? Yeah, that's huge. I feel like it's huge. I've done it. It's the mini ones. No, 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 it's not the mini ones. Like a, like a, a regular size Rice Krispie Tree. I don't think I could do that. You, <laughs> did you put it in like sideways? So it was, you have like a wide I folded it in half. In half. <laughs> in half. In half. How? No, I had to fold it in half and then like squish it down a little bit, but then I, it really hurt to chew though. Because I like couldn't get my teeth on it. That, that makes sense. How about you? I don't, I don't you know. Can you do like a grape? I can do a grape. Do like a kiwi? Definitely not a kiwi. Kiwis are huge. No, they're not. Yes, they are. There's no way you can put a whole kiwi in your mouth. Uh, you're right. They're big and they're furry. Although I do eat the skin, but they, it still feels terrible. You think you can fit a full peep in your mouth? Peep? 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 Peep?
feet. Like the, yeah. the, the duck. I know peeps are gross, but can you do it? Yeah, peeps are gross. I'm sorry any any peep lovers out there, but but they nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so so you go ahead and figure the peep? I I think I could do maybe like maybe a cutie from small. Oh, okay, like a small cutie. Okay, a that's small a good one. Cutie. <laughs> I think you can do it, baby. Mystery bag looks like it's about to fall off the top shelf. I think it's been looking like it's gonna fall off the top shelf for the last like two minutes. I, I know. <laughs>
who's been working with this line for like its entire life. Yeah. So. Have you ever seen those, those videos where like people have monkeys as pets? Oh, it's the whole thing move! Would you want a monkey as a pet? No. Why not? Why not? I really want a piggy marmoset as a pet. Finger monkey. Finger monkey. They are little. They're little and they're so cute. I think I'd rather have like a dog or a cat. What's wrong with the with the pygmy marmoset? Nothing. I just feel like I I want to snuggle my pet and not have like my my pet be like minuscule and like me be able to like step and kill it one day. I mean, you can technically if you stepped on Lulu, look, my dog Lulu's four pounds. You could definitely squish her a bit. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you probably wouldn't like kill her. No. I mean, maybe if you went like full bore, like <laughs> stomped on her. Jeez, I have one baby handful left. But, I, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying because they are small. That was one concern I had because they're so tiny, especially if they're like my baby size fingers. My fingers are small. Like, I feel bad whenever I step on like my dog's foot. Oh, I know. It's so sad. And then you like whippers and then, and, and then you feel terrible. My last what if you stepped on his like, you stepped on your pig with Mars and he just died? No! That would be terrible. terrible. Alright, let's pull. We have 4175. We're getting better and better. That's better good. and better. Mystery bag still on the back shelf. I mean, you get on, just keeps getting pushed off and pushed right back on. I know. There must be something in there, but either must be small or it's full of all the air. Maybe they not tricked us. Is there new, like, lightweight keys? Car keys? No way there's car keys in that one. Maybe. Uh, okay. There's new lightweight keys or, like, maybe paper keys. Maybe it's a piece of paper that says you want a Honda Civic. Maybe. It could be that, too. Oh, oh, it's teeter totter on the right over there. You it's falling, it. it's falling. It's still in the playing field, but good, it's good. We haven't, we haven't lost any, any hundreds yet. Yet. Let's see, you gotta throw the yet in there. The big yet. See, that's basically like knocking on wood. You think so? I think so. I, that's why I always say it. You know? <laughs> Yeah, Iris probably had it really easy for like knocking out wood. Yeah. It was all around them. Or like, you know, they might have been missing a leg. So like, they could just knock them in the old knee. Oh. <laughs> With their peg leg. Yeah, they could knock on that. Whatever they their peg leg. Pirates are weird. I think. Would you want to be a pirate? I don't know. I, I, I think it would be fun. Yeah. Would you want to be like a Viking? Uh, no, I don't want to be a Viking. You don't want to can be I be a knight? Sure, you can be a knight. I want to be a knight. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Probably suck. Honestly, just think about it. Like wearing all that armor is probably completely like unpractical for moving. Yeah. It's probably, probably is so hard to move. It's probably so heavy. But this feels like it'd be cool to do. Do you think it'd be like one size fits all? Or was it? Yeah, it was, it was probably like a one size fits all. So I, I, if I was a knight, it'd be a little baggy on me. Yeah, <laughs> unless you had it like specially made for you, it, which would cost a lot. Yeah, the blacksmith. Yeah, I mean, like you could. They're like hand making that stuff. Oh, yeah. a minute, they're moving a little bit. Do a little bit of rapido right there. I've played enough games where like there's a blacksmith in it, you 100% can make your own stuff. And also, have you ever seen like people like do blacksmith nowadays? Oh, no, the, the whole structure is being pushed. No. There's actual people are, like still blacksmith, just like they used to do like medieval times. Really? They hit it with a hammer, they put it in the forge. I mean like, it's a little modernized, but... Like the stuff that they're able to do is crazy. They're like bending steel, like folding steel to make the bleed. That's awesome. It's crazy. 
back in before I could still make like swords. It's a talent, it's probably passed down. Yeah, I mean, honestly, just Oh, oh, we kept them in, we oh. kept them in. It's, all, it's always so scary when they like start doing that. You're like, don't jump out, don't jump out. Is it okay? Oh, I thought the mystery bag was gonna fall off. It's no, you not. There for good. He's there for good. It looks like the bottom of the left work is falling out. Oh no, really? Yeah. That's a good thing. Yes. That's what we want to see. I'm going back and forth between left and right. I don't know the best way to do this, but I feel like they're spreading out. The bird cages, I feel like they were closer in the beginning. Yeah. I feel like I'm attacking the middle right now. I don't know if that was good or not, but you know I like to fiddle with that middle. You like the middle. Oh, the whole oh. cage on the right move. That 100 on the left is about to jump in the hopper. Yes. Our the first hopper. Yes. <laughs> what? I just I'm cracking up. I didn't know what you said. Yeah. I didn't say that <laughs> good. I'll put it there if you call that out. <laughs> Alright, that was my last quarter. <laughs> Let's go. Our one little hundred. Our one little Benji. And it's gorgeous. Yes, it is. We have 34.75 in Lucky Lucille. 34.75. A little bit less than we had last time. But that's okay. That is okay. We're going to make up for it. We're going to knock down all of the bird cages. All two of them. I'm trying to get that mystery bag though. The mystery bag really be giving me a hard time. I really feel that. Like, I feel owning a bird would be really weird. You think so? Oh, yeah. oh wow, that was a great one. I think that it would be weird to have a bird. It just feels like. I don't know. This is not a normal animal to me. My one friend, whenever I grew up, had a, I had a bird. Really? Yeah. My Aunt Paula has a bird. Pay attention to I don't know. Bird. It was a parrot and it talked. People always like had like the parrots that like swear. Yeah. Like, they swear around the parrot. Yeah. I always feel like that's like a just like a TV thing or something, but it I actually know, happens. It actually happens. I think that's crazy. Birds are crazy. I don't, I don't know. I feel like having a bird as a pet would be weird because like they have weird feet. Yeah. You know, their feet are weird. I don't know if I like the way that they feel. Because like when I was like farming chickens, we had to pick up the dead chickens and I did not like that they carried them by their feet. I did not like that at all. Did they carry it by its head? No, I I mean I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I would, yeah. So they're both bad. You gotta get a grab like a, a stick with a claw. Like a claw. I kinda like you do like you're picking up trash on the highway. Picking up the trash, yeah. Exactly. The claw. The claw. Do you like claw machines? No, I actually hate them. Do you really? Yeah, they're the worst. Me and Christopher used to take all of our money that we got for our report cards and use it on the, the claw machine in Big Lots. Oh, uh, we're waste. We'd use it on that and we'd also get a webcam, but the rest of it was definitely used on that claw machine. Right. <laughs> it was awesome. But then they took the machine out of Big Lots and now it's just... Sad. Sadness there. No more fun. No more claw machines. Claw machines are not fun. Yes, they are, Christian. Don't be a Debbie Downer. I'm going to be a Debbie Downer about this because, like, anytime you get, like, the claw around a, around a like, item, it just doesn't even squeeze it at all. No, you see, you can tell which ones have been messed with because the, the things are, like, perfectly straight. They're all like that. They're no, all like that. No, the one at Big Lots had the curls, like a full-on grip in hand. 
we have 42.50 in Lucky Lucille. Christian, I, I think I just gotta go straight point confusion here. What? What? I don't know. You're crazy? I know this is, this is sudden. What? Why? There's no way I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. No. You gotta trust me. You gotta trust me. I have no way of. He's thinking I'm crazy. He's thinking uh, I'm crazy. Everybody's thinking you're crazy. It's not just me. <laughs> Nobody would do this. No money. Oh my God, it's Christian. It's working. It's working. I'm telling you. It's just making him go backwards. We need quarters. We don't need the hundreds. Christian, you're fucking building me up. It's all right. I'm tearing you down. I know. You're tearing me down. You're supposed to be like, oh, don't make it. You got this. No, this is a good one. You're crazy. You're going to fail. Oh, my goodness. It might work. I don't think it's going to. I'll say that. There you go. Okay, okay. I feel like he's doing something, Christian. I feel. Oh, look, it's moving. He's definitely moving some stuff. An amazing use of the entire seal. Or it's gonna be really bad. Or it's gonna be a really bad use of seal. First of all, I think you got a couple of good pushes of quarters. So I mean, you're gonna have something at least. Man, Might not be a lot though. Egg. Did Mr. Beck not want to fall? No, he's actually really stuck. Okay. Here we go. Okay, 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 nothing's happening, but that's fine. Nothing at all. Oh no, oh no, I'm scared. You actually got a quarter okay. to fall. Oh, look, the whole thing moved, the whole thing moved. The whole board. Boy, Sometimes my mouth is such a four-quarter right. I understand. That's me like every every time I speak. Oh, that was a good move too. Okay, okay. I'm down to only I don't even know eight quarters. Okay, divided by three. <laughs> Okay. Oh, even more. Okay. Let's see what how we did. 37.75. It's Lucky Lucille. Four quarters be calling. Even more quarters. And I'm, I'm not saying it. It did not hurt. Because I've had people feel that way. For now. We did great night even. For now, this is still going to be you. Yeah. 
see that like, because of Survivor? Yeah. I think that I was agree. I was. I think I agree. Oh, you landed a quarter on the on the mystery bag. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'll push it off. Maybe. No, I really. I think I was going over there too. Yes, we got another hundred. Nice. Down to three quarters. It, it looks nice. It looks nice. Although it looks like it rains a lot. Yeah, I hope it helps you out too. <laughs> if it doesn't, I have one of my good ones. 
Oh my goodness, that was an amazing one. Was it? Did it move it? I think it moved it. I don't know. I feel like it pushed a lot of quarters off though. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, like, I feel like I saw a lot of movement. Maybe, maybe the guy didn't move at all. Yes. I feel like the one on the left is kissing glass. So the one on the right? They're both kissing the glass. I think it's wild that people think 
guys. Maybe five. 
five or six quarters that are at the base of this bird gate. Now I feel like if I see them get pushed out from underneath, it's, got, it's all going. Oh, but, Christian, that looked like it was it. Uh, I'm not seeing those quarters budge at all. Inches later. I can't believe it finally fell, Christian. I know, it took forever. It took so long. How many more can we put in like at least a hundred? Like five lucky seals. Yeah, like five the world. Dude, I can't, like they didn't look like they'd be strong because they didn't have like a solid, they weren't solid. No. But I guess that doesn't matter at all. Pillars are actually strong. Maybe that's why, like, like in Rome, they use pillars and all their things instead of solid walls. Maybe. Maybe it's actually stronger. Maybe. You're probably right. The last guy looks like he's about to fall in. Oh. Now, all base is bended over the edge.
more secondary? Alright. All right. All right. One wait, more wait, tertiary. Wait, wait, wait. Nothing? Okay, Alright, okay. let's pull. All right, we have 317.25 in Lucky Lucille. I've decided to show all the money at the end since we only have one guy. Oh, yes. Let's do this. Marvin, help us to save it for us. He wants us to get this last guy. Yeah, I know. Oh, that looks like a push. He's actually moving pretty well. Okay, Good boy, Good boy. Oh, nothing. Hey. Nope. Come on, Mr. Elvis. Help us out. Please, Elvis. Please. Okay, that was a good push. Make a movement, make progress. the 100 then, even if it takes over 100, you only lost 20 instead of 80, if you spent 120, so, I mean, it makes sense, it makes sense, oh, oh. I, think, I, think, I think you're going to be just right on the line, stop breaking, I think this pushes it, no, maybe this one, Oh, yes! Next one. It was the next yes, one. Christian, we did it! Alright, let's pull. 337.75 in Lucky Lucille. Oh, she heavy? She is heavy! Let's see how many bundles and other stuff we got. We have the two $20 bundles. How much is that? $140? Wait, is that one of them? That's $280? Yeah, what's that? Look at all those hundreds. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is yep. nine? One, two, three, right. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We, we have one? nine. We might have dropped one. We lost a hundred. Oh, wait, I found it on the floor. Asian Here it is. Right. I dropped a hundred bundle. Here it is. Here's the tenth one. That was almost so bad. The mystery bag. Nice. What you've all been waiting for. He seems he really thin. Like I'm not gonna lie. Keys. I think I know what this is, Christian. No, no car keys this time. It could be. What is it? You might ask. It is a the gold quarter. Nice. Another one for the collection. Really another one for the collection. 